Hello friends, welcome to another video of what's on my desk. So I thought I'd share with you today items I just got in that are used for foiling. These items will be put on dutchpapercrafts3.blogspot.com. And as you uh, all know, Dutch Paper Crafts 3 is where items are in stock and ready to ship. It's not pre-orders like regular Dutch Paper Crafts. So on Dutch Paper Crafts 3, these will be loaded up um, over time. If you see anything you want now, just email me. If I still have it, I'll quote you a price, which I tend to like to give really good prices, and you'll get first dibs for watching this video, okay? So this is like my haul, I guess you'd say. The people love those haul videos, but <laughs> this is really could be your haul because this is what I'm going to put up on my site. So let's take a quick look at what, some of the items we have. The first item, um, this was hard to get. It's, it's out of uh, stock in a lot of places. It's the Foil Quill um, We Are Memory Keepers mat, and it's for the foil quilling systems. It's for whether you use the, uh, the, the one that goes with the cutting machines or you use the freestyle pen. This is a... Um, this is a magnetic mat which has the uh, these straps of strips of magnets to hold stuff down. So if you're, it, it keeps the foil from uh, crumpling up, so to speak. Now I only got one of these because I got one. I got this for me, um, but I said, you know what? I'm going to offer it up in case somebody needs it because I'm not going to be using my stuff anytime soon. I'm back to work as a school nurse, so time is precious for me. All right. Next item. This is wonderful. I want you to look at this. This is the Spellbinders. This is a Please Deliver To foil plate. Now, isn't that nice to put that on an envelope? I mean, that... <laughs> you just got to get this if you do foiling. And all everybody on your Christmas list will be like, what? How did she do that? And there's the look on the back on how it looks. I like to flip it over so people can see a size of the items. This is a nice little one. This is a Couture... Creations. It's a hydrangea, and this one doesn't. Uh, this isn't. This is a. Excuse me. This one does cut and foil and emboss, which is always a pretty little keepsake when something's foiled. And there's the back of that. It's a nice size. This one is a Coteer Creations hot foil stamp. This one is just used for uh, making a impression on the paper. So you'd want to use this as a background. It doesn't cut and it's so beautiful. Um, just put it on a background to make beautiful foil paper, make it yourself. This is a nice one. This is a snowfall panel. And what this does is it, I'm gonna kind of flip it so you can see the die. It creates a bunch of little uh, snowflake dots all in random patterns to um, make foil highlights on paper. That's always, always fun. That's a coach your creations. Uh, another um, one from um, Coat Chair Creations, again, this is called Christmas Background, so it just foils into the background. Such a pretty design, I'll flip that over. Uh, think tags when you're making these smaller images, because you could put this whole die over a tag and have a gorgeous background. And even though it says Christmas, it it's, looks to me like just filigree, so I, I think you could do whatever you like with it. Wouldn't have to be just... Um, just uh, Christmas. This one, oh, so beautiful, Spellbinders. Um, they did this one, it's called um, the Mary Filigree Quatrefoil, and so pretty, just a card in itself. I would just foil this and call it a day. I'm gonna flip it over so you can see it. Look how pretty that is. That is just gorgeous, gorgeous foiling right there. Another uh, Spellbinders one, this one is called Vintage Frame, and I love how the center uh, is, is done on that, where you can put a little uh, scent, a phrase, a stamp of phrase or something in there or cut it out to, to go in there. And what's nice is it, they give you this cutting die that fits inside there. So that, that's a really good, good thing to have uh, for diversity, and you can put all kinds of whatever you want in there. Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday. So it's called the Vintage Frame. That's a good one to consider. This one I, I bought because it's a Coach Your Creations. It's called Santa Sleigh. Doesn't look that great there, but when you flip it over and you see the actual die, 
it is really a cute die and it looks really cute on Christmas cards and this one is a cut and foil so those cut and foils are always nice because you can uh, what I like to do is of course I make samples so the cut and foils are great for me but for you guys make a bunch of your own samples and tuck them into your Christmas cards to your crafting friends they love what that is the best gift ever and not that expensive and and you just give them some of your samples um, this one is an Anna Griffin one I don't get to get Anna Griffin products often one of my suppliers does get some of her older things and this is called uh, the Anna Griffin um, this is the framed holly uh, foil die and of course you guys just know everything Anna Griffin does is beautiful. This is a larger one, so think of a frame on the outside of an envelope or a frame for a card or frame, have a nice snowy scene as winter stamp and then color it in and then put it through the foil press and foil that over the scene would be wonderful. Okay, we're coming here, another Anna Griffin one. This one is called Christmas Wreath. Um, just pretty nice little thing doesn't I do not believe this is a cut this just in foils in to make a background this one is just a hot foil stamp of Couture Creations I just thought it was really a pretty kind of uh, an art deco or maybe art nouveau maybe more art nouveau I guess pattern and flip that over and again that just foils use that as a background so pretty uh, people said, Darlene, do you have any word ones? They're hard to find, but here's a good one. Anna Griffin, Happy New Year. Flip it over. Doesn't cut, just foils. Okay. This one does cut. This is called the Nesting Circular Flourish Frames. Cuts and foils. So pretty. We'll flip it over. There we go. Circles are always wonderful for frames. This one is just a stamp. It's an Art Deco one and uh, it's got um, just a, a pretty kind of like accent I call this one it's a little bigger when you see it pretty pretty thing that uh, would go on top put two of these uh, to the right and the left or on top and the bottom and you'd have a really nice little frame of something um, that one when I've seen this one done and it's it's really nice some more words always and forever just a stamp do not cut out but that's a really nice saying always and forever now flip it over so you can kind of get an idea of the size nice and big um, these things are called ceiling tabs uh, go press and foil me and what they're supposed to do this is mine and i put it up for sale if you want it and i'll order more if i uh, if i can um, and if anybody needs this right away i'll get them to them but these little tabs come out and you put them on the um, ends of your foil so you don't rip them so it tapes them so they don't come unraveled but it doesn't rip them so uh, good good thing to have in your pile there and then this is a oh and this is unused of course I would never sell you anything of mine that's used and if it was used because you were desperate for it I would let you know that I was giving you and I had tried mine if you were okay with that so this is a cut and foil uh, sweep uh, sweeping bot botanicals and I saw this and they make a frame with this they put these together to make an oval they kind of put one here and then they put another one there so that's really kind of nice again some more embellishments for you to make uh, we did the please deliver to already we'll come over here to another uh, art deco style square here I've seen this one done up it's very pretty as well again another background one Background ones are fun. Think of them um, also how you can put these in your embossing folders and make patterns on the background too because once this is foiled, it's on there. It's a good foiling impression. Here's another one of a little floral one. It's called a botanical set. It cuts and foils. And again, I saw them making this on an oval or on a square too. They put it in the corner and then kind of put the little uh, this little branch on the side. Nice accent pieces some uh, deco foil transfer sheets um, for this is for toner okay so don't be confused you can't use this foil with anything I've just shown you these are for people who have the mink or the laminating systems but I got these in they've been back ordered for a long time so I wanted to show you this is green sketch 
and this is purple sketch and it's really pretty and I'm gonna do some stuff with the mink because some people are telling me hey Darlene I don't want to invest in another system I got a mink you got anything that we can use with the mink yes I do I've got some really great ideas mainly made by deco foil they've got some awesome stuff so we'll go through that another time um, amazing things this is a word set again um, you are going to do amazing things. Always nice to send somebody encouraging. Again, that would go on the inside of a card. It doesn't cut. This does cut. This is called the poinsettia doily. Looks like a snowflake to me. Very gorgeous. And I'll flip that over so you can see the size. It's a good size. Uh, the amazing thing one, it's a nice, uh, perfect for the inside of a card size. I didn't show that before. We'll go over here. Again, some more of these young stem sets by Couture Creations. They cut and foil and make some lovely accents. That one looks kind of like it would make an awesome little circle if you put the two of those together. This one is really pretty. This is the wild frame, and they even they even foiled it on the um the when they sell it. Isn't that pretty? Uh, so you could put something in the center there, a sentiment or uh, layer something over this. It's a really nice size. It's a really nice um, design. And that, again, is just a stamp, not a cut and die. This is a, this, they did a bunch of this Art Deco and I saw some of the samples made with them and that's why I just said, you know, I'm gonna get some of these. They're really, really pretty. Again, this is a stamp, so it uh, it's a nice big one too. So great background one here. If you have any diamond dies, you could layer them over this. Uh, I know for a while there, diamonds were all the rage, and even stamps were coming in diamonds. So if you bought some of those, think of the Heartfelt Creation ones. Uh, perfect background for those. And another Spellbinder. Spellbinders just did an amazing job with their Glimmer Foil uh, systems. So pretty, such pretty designs. So this one has this beautiful uh, background, and you can put Merry Christmas, Tis the Season, or Season Greetings inside. Um, and they call that the Christmas Damask Jubilee. And I'll flip it over so you can see how what a great size that is. So that's what's on my desk. Hey, did anything excite you that you want to get? Just email me, okay? Go to my blog. All my information's there on how to reach me. And um, hope you enjoyed this video. And hey, go craft something. <laughs>